I uh, pretty much stayed away from making videos about this idiot when the uh, Johnny Depp trial was going on. I went on my friend George's show here and there sometimes, but it was so boring. But towards the end, when they got her on the stand there and she got cross-examined, man, that was that was the most horrific self own I have ever seen in history. I mean, she absolutely, she just totally wrecked herself. She kept, she spent all her time trying to convince the jury. And when Camille would ask her something, she'd look over there and be like, well, you have to understand when you buy a house, you don't buy it in cash. And it didn't all this, just the smugness, the arrogance, the, the lies, the, this bitch is toast, man. And then for her to go on here, this is her apparently her first interview since this happened, and she's crying about that this is unfair and that she's getting roasted on the internet and that and she's trying to say that that affected the trial. Well, the jury had no access to the internet or their phones, or any of that. So that rules that theory out completely. And she sits here again. This is such an idiot. I, I really hope this is the last we see of her. Me, um, or what judgments you want to make about what happened in the privacy of my own home and my marriage behind closed doors. I don't presume the average person should know those things, and so I don't take it personally. But even somebody who is sure I'm deserving of all this hate and vitriol, even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. Okay. The, this... This, this is why this girl lost. This gal is just, once again, the jury had no access to TV or electronics or anything. As, as far as I'm aware of, the judge always instructed, instructed them about that. But you had a yellow flash, an umbrella guy, and all that covering it, and... I mean, everybody in the world had a, was t talking about this then, except for me, pretty much. But uh, it didn't affect the trial. And she, she still... This is just such a stupid bitch, man. You cannot tell me that you think that this has been fair. I can easily tell you that it was fair. You had a fair shot there. When I when I when this thing started and I watched bits and pieces of it here and there throughout the whole thing, I wasn't sure who was going to win honestly. But towards the middle of it, it looked like it was leaning towards Johnny Depp was going to win the thing. I'll, I'll be honest about that. Like it did seem like like that. But uh at the very end, this this was her biggest fuck up. She took the stand and was cross examined, and that was the most horrific self own I've ever. I mean, she just that this Camille gal up here, this this one just totally wrecked her, man. I mean, that was. I don't know how Johnny didn't get the full amount and everything, man. I mean, she's just a proven liar and everything else you could think of, man, is just... All right, let's continue. Of course, we also touched on what happened in court and what the jury decided. There's no polite way to say it. <laughs> the jury look at her face the evidence you presented they listened to your testimony and they did not believe you they thought you were lying how could I'll put it this way that face that she made <laughs> how could they 
make a judgment. How could they not come to that conclusion? They had sat in those seats and heard th over three weeks of nonstop, relentless testimony from paid employees and towards the end of the trial, randos, <laughs> as I say. So you but don't blame the jury? I don't blame them. It wasn't, I. You, you see what a delusional idiot this is. So rando people that testified who, who probably don't even know her or anything were they're, they're wrong too. And that face she made when she, she knew what she was going to ask her. She, that horrified look on her face. I don't blame them. I actually understand. He's a beloved character. And people feel they know him. He's a fantastic actor. Their job is to not be dazzled by that. Their job is to look at the facts and the evidence. And they did not believe your testimony or your evidence. <laughs> and again, how, how could they, after listening to three and a half weeks of testimony about how I was a non credible person, not to believe a word that came. Yeah, you're, you're not a credible person. You're, you're a fucking stupid idiot. You claimed that Johnny's uh, ex girlfriend, what, what's her name? Kate Moss, that Johnny Depp pushed her down the stairs. And she testified and said that she fell down the stairs and Johnny was the one who picked her up and brought her up to his up to her room and called the police. That was a that was another horrific I mean she got exposed up the ass on that man. This gal is just came out of my mouth. We're going to have more of our exclusive interview with Amber Heard first on today, tomorrow and Wednesday morning. It's a wide ranging sit down. Well, I might do another video on this because this. This gal is just, just this is what she makes that face. Let's see what she makes that face. <laughs> Look at that face. That's the same face she had in court, and she realized she got fucked. <laughs> so they're going to do this t tomorrow, or t today and tomorrow, huh? I might actually cover this, because the case was boring, but this... She's just such an idiot. That's the thing that makes me laugh about this. She's just so stupid, man. And then she's saying... She can't pay Johnny and all this. And th this made her look even worse, man. I mean, this did not help her at all. I don't know why she, why does she keep doing this? You know, Ember Heard before this was, I don't know. She just came off like a piece of eye candy in movies. That's, that's, that's what I got out of her. She was not, um, She's no Breck Basinger, that's for sure. She's no, uh, what's a good female actress? Uh, Sandra Bullock, I guess. She's just not very, um, she's just not very talented, I guess is the word it would, I should say. She's just, uh, just eye candy, man. Anyways, uh, I got a good laugh out of this so she don't blame the jury and she's b blaming the internet, huh? When the court, the jurors had no access to TV and internet and all this. So, once again, she's just caught in another lie. Lie after lie after lie. I hope there's another trial with these two because if she tries to counter sue or anything, that's going to end worse for her. I really hope I'm done seeing this stupid bitch. She, she's not that good. I, I didn't think she was that good in Aquaman. I mean, yeah, she was hot as fuck. She looked, she looked really hot, but she's just a shit fucking actress, man. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.